Hey, what's going on guys? It's Shadowberry, and I'm back here with uh, some more zombies. And I am gonna go ahead and do a bit of a fun little thing I wanted to try out. Uh, I'm gonna be playing Keynote or Toten with the Reaper, like, collection mod, but I'm just gonna have basically every single perk in the mod turned on as, like, available to get. And I'm gonna just try and get every single perk at once on uh, Kino with every perk with their enhanced versions. Uh, I turned off uh, Vulture Aid and Elemental Pop because th to me personally, those two just like aren't that fun in this mod, but I have all of the other, I believe like 48 enabled. So I'm gonna have to buy something like 96 perks, uh, assuming everything goes well. So let's uh, get on into it. <laughs> actually, I actually also have no idea if uh, trying to roll the Wonder Fizz is going to work or not. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, another issue that I have, uh, or not another issue, but just a issue that I have noticed with this mod in the past is that it has a tendency to not show all of your perks after a certain point. I, I, I forget how many it is, but after you get a certain amount of perks, uh, sometimes the mod just gives up and stops updating, like, the HUD on how many perks you have. So I'm just gonna have to roll the wonder fizz until it stops giving me perks to know I'm done. <laughs> Decided after that uh, shoot house video that I actually like how uh, making zombies videos feels. It's been so long since I last made any. I used to do uh, zombies all the way back on World at War. Um, I, I did customs on that back on Twitch, back... God, I, I can't even remember how many years ago now at this point. I'd have to go back and look at some of the unlisted videos on my channel to check. But it, it's, it's been a minute since I last did any sort of uh, zombies stuff for uh, content creation purposes. I also do like that uh, recording videos instead of uh, doing streams does somewhat uh, protect me against the, uh, the ever-looming threat of people trying to knock you offline on BO3 because they have that mod menu that never got uh, gotten rid of. Let's see what's what's in the mule kit corner this time. What is this? Is that a bla I was about to ask, is that blaze phase? I could have just looked down. Oh, hey, quick arrive. Nice. I actually needed that. We got. Was it tactical sangria? I think is how it said. In that corner. That they, they put so many perk machines on Kino. This this mod adds so many extra perk slots. Like, like, physically, like, locations for the perk machines to show up, I mean. I think there's another perk machine down here even, right? Yeah, oh wow, I got Jug down here. Ah, I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get Jug before it has to leave. Unfortunate. Because of that, let's just, uh, keep on keeping on. And see, uh, if we can get the rest of the map open and power turned on so I can start chipping away at getting these perks. I'm gonna grab an MP40 on the way through here, because that's just a gun that I like on this, uh, just in Chronicles in general, I feel like the MP40 feels really good. I don't know if the Chronicles and Origins MP40 actually is statistically the same as the World at War one, because I always feel like it's felt just different somehow, but I've never actually looked at the stats of them uh, side by side, so... For all I know, Origins Chronicles and World at War could all have different stat lines for the MP40. So, might actually go and uh, look that up while I'm uh, editing this video and see what uh, what versions of the MP40s do what. I'm, I'm hoping it's all just the same across the line, because it would make my life a lot easier to remember. Okay, this is mid-edit Shadowberry coming with this, because I've looked at the stats of the MP40 because I was curious now, and this is driving me insane. So... On World at War, Black Ops 1, and Black Ops 2, when you pack-a-punch the MP40, uh, the fire rate goes from 535 RPM to 600. On Black Ops 2, the non-upgraded version does 10 more damage than the World at War and Black Ops 1 version. And then on Black Ops 3, it has that increased damage from the Black Ops 2 version, but then pack-a-punching it doesn't increase the rate of fire, but then, if I'm supposed to believe what I'm reading here right, it also doesn't have damage fall off on Black Ops 3? I, I don't understand. What? It, it's, it's the MP40. Why did you have to keep changing it? It's like the third time I've seen Juggernaut over there. Not over there, but just in the map in general. 
See, can I actually get myself enough money to get Jug right now? Because if I can, that's going to be uh, really good. I'd, I'd have to be able to rebuild a bunch of windows and then also kill all three of these zombies with all headshots, which uh, I don't think is going to happen with an MP40. So originally my upload uh, idea for today was going to be uh, doing uh, PS3 Dreisendrack for just a funny little like bit, but uh, turns out I couldn't find a uh, good HDMI splitter that uh, would bypass uh, HDCP, so here I am on a uh, PC Black Ops 3 again for now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm gonna be looking into that because uh, even outside of doing meme stuff for Black Ops 3 last gen, I, I've always enjoyed the Ratchet and Clank games, and so uh, having that splitter to be able to stream the Ratchet and Clank games would be really nice uh, for me personally. Okay, baby crying noises. Way to uh, make me feel really uncomfortable in this match of zombies. <laughs> I really, like... Every time that I come back to Kino, it really gets me thinking about how my first exposure to this map was the uh, the Nintendo Wii version, actually. I uh, didn't get an Xbox 360 until around the time that like Black Ops 2 was coming out. Uh, and so all of my Call of Duty experience, uh, like Modern Warfare 3 and back, comes from the Wii ports and playing some of them on my very bad laptop. For example, the, the laptop struggled to run World at War. I I'd had World at War on PC and Wii. I ended up getting it on PC after finding out that the Wii version didn't have zombies. Uh, because I I'd played World at War on the 360 at a friend's house, and I'd gone over that friend's house a bunch of times, and that's how I had... Uh, exposure to zombies initially was I played a, like a lot of zombies over at like friends' houses back during the World of War days, uh, since I didn't own a 360. And then when Black Ops 1 came out, a little while after it came out, I got the Wii version after hearing that the Wii version actually did have Kino. And then the, the rest is a uh, kind of history. I played a lot, and I mean like a lot, a lot of uh, Black Ops 1 on the Wii. Uh, <laughs> Well, I might actually see if I can uh, set up a emulator or if I can just set up, like, my Wii in general to try and record some on that again. See if I can uh, do, like, the dream that I've always sort of, like, wanted to do for that game where, uh, where back in the day when I was, like, younger, I wanted to try and actually, like, get a high round run on Kino. I think the highest I ever got on Kino on Wii was somewhere around round 50. But I, I want to get that. I, I want to try and sit down and see if I can get anywhere near 100 at some point. Uh, I don't remember the strat, like, at all, but it's it's something I definitely want to sit down and try and do at some point. Especially since, like, and, uh, essentially Black Ops 1 on the Wii changed, like, the entire trajectory of my life, so... A lot of the uh, experience that the experiences that I've had in life, I wouldn't have had without having played Black Ops One on the Wii. So, World at War Customs also had a big impact on me too. I played so much World at War Customs. Just in general, I really like th those two games. Really, just are special to me. Like Black Ops One and World at War. If we, if we ever got like remasters of them and they got like the COD 4 remastered treatment like I would be all over those games constantly I, I doubt that we ever will especially since we have stuff like Zombie Chronicles now but oh I, I can dream alright I'm gonna start rolling the Wonder Fizz now for perks just because uh I don't want to have to walk around the entire map every five seconds alright so that's Tombstone must be destroyed I actually don't know if you can get duplicates out of the Wonder Fizz before having every perk, so we'll have to see how that goes. I also don't think I have the... Uh, I don't think I have the setting enabled to actually get a power-up that can upgrade a perk right now, so... I don't remember what all of the double perks do off the top of my head. I know that, like, I think Quick Revive is literally just the modifier from Black Ops 4, where it's like you move faster after reviving someone and stuff like that. That Blood Bullets perk sounds nice. I'm, I'm gonna stick to rolling the Wonder Fizz, though. I'm, I'm, 
Because that's just going to be the cheapest and quickest way to get through all the perks, is just Wonderfizz all of them. Part of the reason I decided to choose a Kino for this is for the, uh, the Wonderfizz, so I don't have to, like... Because the, the other map I was thinking of doing this on was a custom map called Necroforest, which I really enjoy specifically because, like, I played that map on World at War a lot, and the fact that there's a BO3 remaster of it is just neat in my opinion. But, uh, it doesn't have a wonder phase, so if you're trying to do this and try and get all the perks on Necroforest, you have to just pray that the, uh, when the round switches over, you get the, uh, perk that you were, oh, perk that you were wanting. Uh, let's enter Shadow Form and revive myself so I keep on perks. That was unfortunate, but... At the very least, uh, I kept Jug and Quick Revive, which is the important part. And what, I had Tombstone and Bandolier, I think was the others. Oh, Mule Kick! Uh, let me double check if Bandolier is back in the map somewhere right now. Uh, oh, there's Double Tap. What is that, is that Banana Colada? No, Mad Gaz Moonshine. Okay. That's, those are two that I get confused all the time because they have extremely similar perks. Nitrogen cooled. But they have extremely similar effects. Swarm scotch. Let's open up these doors too while I have a second. Is that electric cherry? Is, is electric cherry clipping through the wall back there? It's not. I, I, it is a little bit. Oh, what is the. Oh, pack a box was back here. Ooh. I don't think I have enough points to be able to get that, but pack a box is so good. As, as the name would, like, imply, it makes it so that any time you roll a weapon out of the mystery box, there's a chance to be Pack-a-Punch when you pick it up. If, if I actually can get enough money for Pack-a-Box, I'll just do that instead of, uh... Instead of Bandolier Bandit. Oh, yep, there we go. And then, now that I have this, I'll start rolling the box for my third Mule Kick weapon. I like how I said that I was going to just roll the Wonder Fizz to try and get all the perks that I wanted, and now here I am, buying individual perks. <laughs> Alright, now I need to figure out where the hell the box is. Is the box in the alleyway? No, it's in that, like, room that's, like, to the left of the alleyway. Okay. Was... I have seen Juggernog, like, every rotation now at this point. I really wish that there was something behind this. I'd, like... The pounding on this door screws with me every time. And Mad Gaz Moonshine has decided it's gonna cl like clip through the geometry right here. Well, I can hang out back here with the box in the meantime. Trying to build up some points. Unfortunately, I uh, can't turn on the Easter egg song because I don't want to get uh, like copyright struck into the next dimension. So I'll probably just have like, damn, playing in the background of this again. Just like how I did on the, uh, shoot house video. Because I feel like damned just as background noise is just good. Is there... Is there something going on to the bottom of this Vesper? I've never noticed this, like, orange and red glow at the bottom of it. I genuinely have no idea what's going on there. Is that because of like an attachment variant that I have on? What is that? I'm gonna I'm gonna go crazy because of this. Straight up. Is that, is that Kuda? Ooh, a pack a punch Kuda. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, hold on to this M8. Why not? I never use this thing normally. Deserves some time to time to shine. So I guess we're going. Uh, Pack a punch Kuda and ICR them in a pack a punch eventually, and M8. I might actually uh, hold off on buying some more perks until I can pack a punch the M8 and the ICR. Uh, I feel like that'll make my life a little bit easier. God, I also just remembered the some of the weird stuff, like the fact that the uh, the M8 on Black Ops 2, its uh, pack a punch mag size was like all weird. How it was a four round burst, but then it had 42 in the mag. Uh, reminds me of how, uh, the Dredge on last gen has 170 in the mag, despite being a six-round burst, so, like, the math doesn't work out. I'm kind of curious about what happened with the Dredge on last gen, just because, like, 
on, on current gen, and specifically for the Pack-A-Punch version, like, the non-packed version is weird, but it's not as weird to the same extent as the Pack-A-Punch version, because the normal version has 72 in the mag, despite the current gen version having 90 in the mag. But then the Pack-A-Punch current gen version has 120 in the mag, but the Pack-A-Punch to last gen version has 170, so I... I've, I've always, like, wondered what happened there, why, why there's that discrepancy between the two. There I go again, spouting completely useless information about zombies, especially since most people here probably never have and never will touch last-gen Black Ops 3. Right. I just now realize we have over 10,000 points, I should go uh, pack-a-punch my ICR and M8. There weren't any perk machines hidden up here, right? Yeah, no, we're good. On the opposite side of one of these doors is actually, like, the spawn room, like, balcony zombie spawn thing. I've flown around this map with no clip before, so I remember that. I... Let me see if I can tell based off, like, or... I think it's that side. I think that side has the, uh, like, that balcony that you can access. Oh, hey, nice, we got a demon bear room. Let's grab the film, why not? There's a good chance that I never actually put that in this match, but... Also, I have no idea if, uh, this editing style is actually any good, so just, like, let me know, like, if you enjoy it. Because I, I, at the very least, enjoy making this editing style. It, do, it does take me a little while to do, which is why, uh, it probably, I probably need some good justifiable reason to, like, stop my job before I'd even consider going to upload more than twice a week. Because I'm already having to dedicate pretty much an entire day uh, just to, like, editing. So. Because I uh, am recording on Saturday, editing Sunday, uploading Monday. And then this one I'm going to be recording Tuesday, playing some VR stuff on Wednesday. I'm going to probably be editing this on Thursday and then uploading Friday. Probably going to be a bit cramped for time. Unless I, uh, have some sort of justifiable reason to focus on these videos full-time. Mostly because it requires me to sit down basically through- Because, like, I, these aren't actually streams, these are just me sitting down and doing a live com, and then I'm cutting down all of, like, the dead space, uh, like, in between. And so, a, in a situation like that, it requires me to, like, sit down and go through the entire thing- uh, sit through pretty much the entire video's length. Just so I can know where dead space is and where dead space isn't, so I can cut it out. Oh my god. Zombies start beating my ass. This ain't last gen, you're supposed you're not supposed to multi-hit me like that. I actually don't remember if there's a Kuda wall by on this map. Because I thought that there was one and then it got changed to the uh, MP40. Because I thought it would have been like out over here, because there's the KN and then I think that used to be the CUDA right there before they made it the MP40 from Community Backlash. Is, is the CUDA actually in the other room over here? Let me see, actually. I'm, I'm really curious about this now, if there is a CUDA wall by on this map. There's Elkar. We got VMP out here. Oh no, there's an M8 right there. Huh. Oh my god. I don't want to get uh, trapped out here in the alleyway. I was just coming out here to check for a CUDA wall by. Okay, we're all good. Is this, this is Winter's Whale? It's one of the blue ones. Yeah, Winter's Whale, it's gotta be. I have finished Unless it's something else. Um, actually, it might be the... The, what is it, the liquid nitrogen one, actually. We got something that's red. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll take this. I, I forget the name of this. Vigor Rush, I think it's called? But it's, yeah, it's explosive rounds. I forget what the liquid nitrogen perk does. Is it slide related? I don't remember. Oh, there's the magnet. This is the magnet perk. So, uh, this one is when I get a power up, it'll slowly move towards me and then stop a few feet in front of him. Uh, like, a few feet ahead of me. Uh, if I get it, I'll, uh, point it out. I don't remember what that perk is. 
Oh, it must be fast hands. That's the bowl blast one. I forget the full name of it actually. Something that's green. Hey, speed cola. Nice. Let's see, what's this one? What is Blaze Phase? Okay. We're starting to get into the rounds where I'll just start rapid fire buying. Uh, buying? Where I'll start rapid fire buying. <laughs> I said it again. I'll start rapid fire buying perks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, that's what it was. The liquid nitrogen one makes zombies, like, slow down when they get near you. That's what it was. I knew it was, like, something weird like that. I knew it had to do with zombie movement speed. I just couldn't remember what the activation requirement was for it. Let's see what we got. Oh, uh, Deadshot Daiquiri. That's not any fun. Everyone knows what Deadshot is. It's the one that doesn't do anything on PC, apart from hip fire accuracy, which, like, who's going to use that? And I guess my wolf got a little confused there. Just stood there doing nothing. Oh yeah, I can show off the, uh, yeah. So the, the power-up will get, like, pulled towards you, and then if you get up close to it without picking it up, you can actually change it to something else. Double it's like, points. yeah, I want double points. Let's go with that. I think you're only allowed to reroll a perk three times, but it, uh... It's better than, uh, not having the power-up that you want. It also means that you're, like, a lot more likely to get max ammo too, because... Like, every power-up you get is effectively three power-ups, so... Or four power-ups, because you get the three re-rolls on it. Let's see here. Oh, is this the grenade one? Oh, I can't tell. It uh, stopped showing me perk icons. Awesome. Uh, so we're just not going to know what perks we have for the rest of this match. Oh, well, I guess Electric Cherry's icon is going to work? Okay, now I'm really confused. I have no idea what perks I'm getting now. Well, we'll just keep buying perks until the Wonder Fist stops letting us buy perks then. Because uh, I have no idea what perk I'm on now. Let's be spicy. Let's see if I can buy some perks in the middle of the round. And, and despite these perks icons not showing up, I do know that they are working. Got a perk that I got no idea what it was. Grab that max ammo. I must have got the one that allows you to get points off of multi kills at some point. Oh yeah, the, I forgot that the Nova Crawlers pretty much ignore Widow's Mine. Oh, that one's Fighter's Fizz. I, I can tell that off the color. Because I know the Fighter's Fizz uh, is the one that I believe is when you go down, you can get a kill to stand back. It's pretty much self medication. If you go down, you can get a kill, stand back up. What is that? Is that Tortoise? It might be Tortoise. I'm not sure. Can't keep track of these perk names already. There's too many of them. This is unfortunate that the HUD broke. I... That's one thing that I really hope gets fixed in the future with this mod, is that, uh... But I really hope wherever the creator this is fixes that eventually, that, uh... Buying too many perks stops updating them on the HUD. God, I forgot how, like, therapeutic it can be to just play zombies on a uh, on one of the official maps. It's been, like, so long since I just sat down and just played, like, a standard match of zombies that wasn't, like, a meme or... Oh, wait, I have that perk that electrifies zombies when I run by them now. Because, like, yeah, yeah, I can just straight fry them. A lot of my time is spent on, like, customs nowadays. Because, like, I did the Super Easter Egg on Xbox. I have, like, Master Prestige on, like, the actual, like, Steam servers on PC. So it's not really have, like, much to grind for. Especially since there wasn't ever a, uh, a Dark Matter slash Dark Ether grind put in this game. I already have Dark Ether done on Vanguard and Cold War, so I'd have to wait for whatever next game comes out for that. Unless I go back to Black Ops 4, because I... On both Xbox One and uh, PC, on, like, both platforms, I never got Dark Aether, or Dark Matter done. Oh yeah, I forgot the, the chance to not consume ammo because that one perk, yeah. And then max ammo's just gonna come on over to us. We won't even have to do anything. If people wanted me to stream that, either on YouTube or Twitch... Uh, I, I would be down to do that, probably, on either Xbox One or PC. 
I'd have to literally dig out and un or like dust off my Xbox One to be able to do that, though, on consoles. But that being said, uh, PC also does have its fair share of issues, as is for Black Ops 4, so probably wouldn't be that bad of an idea to try and do Xbox One to finish out that Dark Matter grind, especially since I also had... I think I only had, like, a handful of weapons left that I needed Dark Matter on, or that I needed to get gold on zombies. But yeah, if you, uh, if you made it this late into the video, uh, let me know if you want me to go back to finish uh, Dark Matter on Black Ops 4 on either console or PC. Or both. You know, this is probably going to be a minute before we have uh, any sort of, like, zombie stuff that we can uh, sit, like, sit down and really sick, uh, seek our teeth into when it comes to, like, camera grinds for that, so. What would have been amazing is if Boy didn't get shut down and if they would have put a Dark Matter camo grind into zombies. It's, uh, sit in front of the Wonder Fizz and just down a bajillion perks. Chug, chug, chug! <laughs> oh, I got the perk that, uh, refunds money when you buy perk or buy anything, I should say. Not necessarily when you just buy perks. Don't know what- oh, was that Muscle Milk? That might have been Muscle Milk. I think that's, like, the only white perk in this mod. It was something that was purple. Oh, that was Swarm! God, these Nova Crawlers are so fast. They're not affected by that uh, one perk that's supposed to slow them down. And oh my god, there's so many visual effects on my screen already. I'm also definitely, like... I, I think I've already enhanced some of the perks. I can't tell, though, since the HUD's not updating, so I can't see what perks have gold borders or not. I got Death Perception somewhere in there. This is just becoming how well can I camp at the Wonder Fizz machine while I down 800 perks. I activated Zom Shell on the perk machine, I guess. Is that all? Do I have all of them? I don't believe that I have all of them already. Well, I'm gonna have to go around the map and check. I, I don't believe that I have every perk and its enhanced version already. Yeah, I don't. The Wonder Fizz just gave up. Yeah, so I guess I'm just gonna have to double buy every perk from its uh, respective machine that I don't have yet. I never got blood bullets? Or was that the double buy? Yeah, that was the double buy, never mind, I just read. Oh my god. That is so many Nova Crawlers! Holy hell! There's PhD Slider. Oh, all the perk machines are gonna move. Oh no! Am I supposed to know which ones I need still? <laughs> I'm getting the PhD music from that. Oh lord. Oh. Okay, I already have enhanced blaze phase. Yes, Luna, come protect me. While I double check what perks I still need to double buy. Yep, there we go. I can get enhanced Juggernog now. There's so many zombies coming out of this, like, one door right here. And they're all shambling because of the nitrogen perk. Oh god, no perk machines, don't leave yet! I still need to buy you! Unfortunate. Here we go, Victorious Tortoise, I guess. I might finally be approaching, uh point where I have most of the perks enhanced. Is that pack a box? Yep. Is that? Oh no, that's Ethereal Razor. I don't think I actually... Oh, apparently I already have Razor and it's enhanced. So... I legit didn't even think I had the perk to begin with, so... Oh yeah, Enhanced Widow's Wine makes it so that uh, every kill that you get... Er, er, the zombies don't have to be webbed to give you the grenades back. It's just any kill. We're on wave 26, we're still buying perks. Tombstone? Definitely. Oh yeah, I forgot, Enhanced Deadshot actually does things on this. It actually makes Deadshot do something. Oh my gosh, this is... getting so out of hand.
Oh yeah, I, I have the thing that picking up a perk has a chance, or picking up a power up has a chance to give me another power up. Let's keep fighting my way on through. Keep buying more perks. Let's enhance whatever this is. I didn't read. At this point, I'm just walking up to perk machines and interacting. What do you do? Or do I already have you? No, I need you. I really should have, like, busted out, like, a spreadsheet so I could know, uh... What perks I still needed to buy. There's Blaze Phase for the 800th time. I already have Nitrogen Cooled leveled up. Uh... Do I have Enhanced Stamina? Let me check. I do not. I cannot see. Really just held W into that group of zombies. Perk machines, rotate. What do I got? Is anything I need? Change shoes? Need that. And that is stamina up. I already have that. So, sure, why not? Bowie knife. At this point, let's just buy everything I can. Oh, Blood Wolf. Nice. Oh god, explosive rounds, death machine. This is heinous. Sure. Enhance Quick Revive. Even after I think I have everything, I'm probably still going to hold out for a couple rounds just to make sure that I actually did get every perk. Because you can never be, like, entirely certain with this mod just because of that issue that it has. There you go. There's Mad Gaz Moonshine, I guess. Didn't have that enhanced. Is this that PhD Slider? one of the two PhD sliders. At this point, I'm thinking I might have all, if not, like, almost all of the perks enhanced. Oh, there's Point Crusher. Uh, so I think I might just call this by round 30, because I feel like at that point, I definitely will have every perk enhanced at, like, that point. I say as I'm now getting a bunch of perks that I haven't had their perk machines load into the map forever. But I'm still I'm fairly confident that by round 30 I'll have everything, so I'll probably just call it then, just for my own sanity. Because uh, having to edit a video that would be, like, multiple hours long of just me waiting for that one perk that I'm missing to load in would uh, definitely not be fun. That's Winter's Whale, well, I'm 99% sure. I, do I don't! I thought I did this entire time. I guess I didn't have Enhanced Winter's Whale. Well. Miracle Hands. Oh, that's the one that lets you change the perks. Okay. I thought that it was something different than the one that pulled it towards it. Yeah, so there's, there's Miracle Hands, which will change what the perk is. And then there's the Magnet that'll pull the perk to you. I keep saying perk when I mean to say power up. You good there, Luna? There is. Oh my god, so many crawlers. Oh my gosh, there is. I forgot that you just like print ammo with some of these perks. So I'm just never gonna run out now. Oh, I see you. I think I hit every perk machine on the map, so... Whenever I can find the last zombies. Death Perception, show me where they are. I just watched one of them respawn through a wall. God, I think this went down... This would change for me going down on whatever round that was. And having to revive myself with Tombstone to... Me on wave 29, not feeling threatened in the slightest by anything that's happening on my screen. Yeah, I think round 30, uh, where we can- oh. Really, I didn't get Pack-a-Box. I could have swore that I did. I guess not, I guess I'm crazy. Oh, we're getting that glitch now where just visual effects are stopping. That's how we- you can tell we're getting, uh, into the crazy rounds now. 
Oh, okay. Visual effects are back. We're fine. We're gaming. Oh my god, that is so many Nova Crawlers. Why are there so many Nova Crawlers? I don't remember that ever being a thing on, like, on either version. On the Black Ops 3 or the Black Ops 1 version of this. Like, am I crazy? There's never been this many crawlers on this map, right? Well, that round's over before I could get a chance to check every perk, but honestly, I'm, I'm fairly certain I have everything at this point. I'm just gonna do one lap to make sure, but I was making this lap around the map like this to check all the perk machines is relaxing, especially since it's a dog round where I don't have to really worry about anything. Yep, I'm pretty sure we're done now. Yeah, I think that's it. So, thanks everyone that stuck around to the uh, end of the video for sticking around as long as you did. I hope that I will uh, see you guys in the next video that I upload, whatever that is. Uh, and I hope you had a good day. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you found the content interesting and fun. And I'll be back with more zombies. Peace out. Uh, peace out. I was going to say peace on out. But uh, peace out. Have a good day.